Can you hear it ringing? Yeah. Ah, good afternoon. Buckingham Palace? Yes. Oh, wonderful. Um, I'd just like to um, speak to uh, Elizabeth II, Elizabeth Windsor. Please excuse me, I don't know her full German name. Excuse me? Oh, she's at the state opening of Parliament. Oh, that's a shame. Um, it's Cack from the Cack and Mike show. Um, I, I sent you an email in the name Mark Salon. You, oh, you got it. She got it. We just want, we, we're making up a new unredacted Jeffrey's, um, Jeffrey Epstein's black book. And we want to know if Her Majesty's like to be included for 2020. Oh, she would. So you'll send all the private details to the email address supplied. Landlines, all the emails and private addresses. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, we'll make sure she's included for the 2020 edition of Epstein's <laughs> Dirty Little Black Book. Thank you very much. You have a nice day too, sir. Thank you. Oh, cool. So, you remember where we were last time? Yeah. And we were going through Jeffrey Epstein's Dirty Little Black Book. And where do we get to? Who is that? Peter? P P Peter? Well, it went dark, didn't it? The it lights did, went it out. Did. So let's put the lights on. That was bizarre. The lights just... Yeah, just as we mentioned, the dark prints. Yeah, I mean, Peter Mandelson. Oh, dear. Anyway, thank you to uh, all our subscribers and people who watch our videos. If you don't like them, please don't watch them. We can't force you to watch them at all. But if you don't understand our, our humour... Watch them. If you don't understand our humour, then please don't watch them. No, I am your father. <laughs> I don't think everybody got that. And somebody says, we don't understand. If I understood your humour, I'd watch your videos, guys. So, anyway. So here we are again, and this is Jeffrey Epstein's unredacted black book. As you can see, it's not been blacked out anywhere, none of it. None of it. And we've chosen, well, I've chosen a few select people to question how come they're actually in it. Well, there's, a, there's an interesting thing to do with it, though, isn't there? Because the, the black book was from 2004, 2005? Yes. Well, I think that's when the FBI got it. At the beginning, there's a PB, I think that's Palm Beach. There's a note there by the FBI man. It just says PB 2004-2005. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. So, if we take it that he put this together in 2004-2005... Oh, let me stop you there. You can imagine, can't you? Hi, Charles Althrop. Uh, Charles Spencer, yeah, would you like to be in it? Yes, thank you. Yeah, uh, just I'll provide you with all my details, landlord, everything, yeah. all my private emails. Um, in 2004, 2005, in knowing that he got done for paedophilia in 2001. That's Epstein, got done for paedophilia in 2001, yes. and this is compiled 2004, 2005. You want to be in it? Yes, of course, of course. Now, the, the woman that is, uh, features prominently in it, who we're going to do a special, Galan. Or Gislaine Maxwell. We've got something special coming up, but I need to do a little bit of research and write some things to You will be shocked. I can guarantee you that. Anyway, speaking of Maxwell's, and I'd better put my glasses on for this, because some of the print is real small. There is a plethora, plethora. of Maxwell's here. Mrs. Anne and Lawrence Maxwell. Christine. Melina Maxwell, Debbie Maxwell, Dr. and Mrs. Philip Maxwell, E. Maxwell, whoever that is, Cundy Street, London, South West 1, Chelsea again, yeah, you buggerers, Ian and Tara Maxwell, Kevin and Pandora Maxwell. I wonder if they're related to uh, the Maxwell that used to have the Daily Mirror. More than likely. In fact, Marcella Maxwell, John Maxwell and Robert Maxwell are in here. That was him, wasn't it? That got murdered on a boat? Yeah. Unbelievable. I thought Kate Middleton was in here, but no, it's Kate Menzies. So we're just looking through the M's, and here's a good one. Now this bloke is a good, good, good one. Now we're not saying that all these people that are in Jeffrey Epstein's unredacted black book or nonces, or paedophiles, or sexual predators. Well, if you jump to that conclusion, that's entirely up to you. It does seem a little bit odd to be in here after, as He's our up. good friend said, after 2001, when he was convicted of paedophilia. Now, this man, Rupert Murdoch. Mm. 
a key player. Rupert Murdoch owns Sky News, owns all the newspapers in Australian, and... Well, he's a Zionist, really. Something like that. Isn't it? Surprise, surprise. Well, they have to keep control of the papers. Oh. Oh. I think that might be the palace just confirming. Yeah. <laughs> to excuse the interruption, it was actually the palace just calling us back to confirm that they, of, of the entire Windsor family, would like to be in the 2020 edition of <laughs> of Jeffrey Epstein's redacted black book. So now we come to a real cracker here. And I know you don't watch TV, but there's a um, he's a bit of a dinosaur that dyes his hair. He's a BBC interviewer, reporter, a fat chap who's sort of receding here, and his name's Andrew Neil. And yeah, Boris, politici political. He, d he interviews Something politicians, probably. and uh, he interviewed Corbyn and kept pressuring, pressuring Corbyn to to, to say sorry, and, and Corbyn kept going off. But he he wanted to interview Boris Johnson, but Boris Johnson didn't want any, anything to do with him. I wonder why. Uh, his name's Andrew Neil. Okay. From the TV, and he lives at 55 Onslow Gardens, London, SW7, Chelsea. Oh, zero two zero seven five eight one one six five five AF Neil AOL dot com is all in there. The guy from the BBC, <laughs> yeah, Andrew Neil, BBC political correspondent. There's another honourable person in here, again living in South West One, Chelsea. Oh, what it is with these Chelsea people? Uh, which is the honourable Thomas Noel. That's another one. Who else have we got? Tara. She's dead now. Tara Palmer Tomkinson. Yeah, she was a cokehead, wasn't it? Her details are in here, Tara Palmer Tomkinson. A socialite, apparently. She was friends with that other lot, other it girl. Ronald Perlman. Mm. Now, do you know he was an actor? Well, still is an actor, Ronald Perlman. He was at, he had the, to the horns that were sawn off. Oh, Hellboy. Hellboy, he's in. Epstein's unredacted Dirty Black Book. Uh -huh. There's another <clears throat> right honourable Charles Pearson here, London. Again, South West okay. Kensington, Chelsea. So, that's that bit of it. <clears throat> loads of these. I thought that said Prince Charles, but it doesn't, it says Charles Price. <laughs> Princess Fire, Fire, Furyal of New York. Does anybody know her? Princess Furyal, or is she just a hooker? Or um, somebody from Massage or something like that? <coughs> oh, let's see what other good ones we've got in here. Oh, you're gonna like this. Not now, not. you know the two families that run the world? I know him. His hmm. name's Lee. It's not Lee, Lee. Definitely. Yeah. You know there's two families that run the world? Well, he's 13, actually. Well, just... The Rockefellers and the... Rothschilds. Look who's in here. You can't see this yet. Can you see that? Yes. This is to our viewers. Yes. And guess who's in here? Jessica Rothschild. <laughs> Hannah Rothschild. <clears throat> yes, that's not shocking, though, is it? You all knew that the Rothschilds were going to be into paedophilia or be in the black book at any rate. Yeah, absolutely. These are grandchildren of uh, Rothschilds, yep. Yeah. Eduardo de Rothschild <laughs> and Evelyn de Rothschild. You'll never guess where they live. Uh... France and London. There we go. The Rothschilds are in it. Okay, so the Rockefellers have got to be in there as well, haven't they? You think they? so? I think they are, but a separate page for them. Ooh, oh, you've yeah. already got some good ones, but you probably knew about this one. Kevin Spacey. Ah, oh, well. There's no surprise that he's there, is there? This Kevin Spacey is in Jeffrey Epstein's unredacted black book. Right, and he's been proven to have sex with, with young boys. Yeah. And he's done a runner, hasn't he? But he's been protected. As, after he came out and said he liked them young. Yeah. He's there. Kevin Spacey. It says Trigger Street Productions, 755 Licklinage Boulevard, Los Angeles, California. 
And his numbers as well, so if you want to give him a bell, feel free. But you didn't get the numbers off us, you got it off Jeffrey. Kevin Spacey. <laughs> okay, this is an American number, 310-360-1612. And his alternative number is 212-841-5443. And that's um, Los Angeles, California, okay? USA. Also, look who we've got in here. Now, this chap funds all sorts of crap around the planet, especially... Soros? George, yeah. Peter Soros is in there. Oh. Okay. And another model. Oh, wasn't she friends with Prince Charles, this one? Too stark. Oh. Remember her? There was a scandal a few years ago about her. Coo f stark. Oh, sorry, I've sworn. You might have to bleep that. Right, we're going to do three pages. We don't want to keep you all day, because otherwise we're never going to get through this. We've got five pages left, or five little booklets. Well, maybe we do two more. That leaves us four to go, then. Well, if anybody can find where Galan Maxwell is, and I've just found her details here, if you want to pause that, you can probably find... All you ever wanted to know about Galan or Ghislaine Maxwell there. If you want to give her a call or you want to send her an email and find out how come she had lunch a couple of months ago at the palace. Because Buckingham they're palace. all in it together. There is no Germans, French, Americans, Australia. They're all in it together as will become self-explanatory when we do a little talk about it. Mm. Ghislaine Maxwell, 116 East 65th Street, New York, New York. Email. Email's quite interesting. gmax1 at mindspring.com. Mm. So she's in charge of that company, gmax or mindspring. Anyway, that is for next time. Senator George Mitchell. <laughs> it just gets worse. So, here we are. <coughs> Baroness Francesca... Thielman, whoever she is, again, some baroness, right honourable person. Yeah. Oh dear. Do you know, I was looking online at the news this morning and apparently Donald Trump has been impeached. So he's due to go to trial, but all his advisers say he'll get away with it scot free. Okay. <laughs> Guess who's in here? Blaine and Robert Trump. They're his sons, aren't they? Is that his youngest son? Blaine and Robert Trump. His number. Ivana Trump, which is his daughter or his wife. This is and wife. then, this is not good, Ivanka Trump. Oh, no, that's in there. his wife. Ivanka Trump. <laughs> and his daughter... Hey, Vanka Trump! In fact, the entire Trump family is in Jeffrey Epstein's black book. Oh, um, m m m m m Mr. Trump, um, Jeffrey Epstein. Don't know him. Never heard of him. Uh, Prince Andrew. Don't know him. No, I've got him. photographs. Put some photographs up showing um, they've been mates for 20 years. They party together. I don't know him. This is Donald Trump, the President of the United States of America, who's been impeached, who'll get away with it, because he's a murdering liar. And in the same club. I don't, he says he doesn't know him. Yeah, he well, doesn't know him. Well, what about his, his daughter, or his younger sons? Mm. Or his oldest son? And his daughter and his wife don't know, they, the entire family's in here, and they don't know him. No! Well, apparently <laughs> what's going on in America at the moment is these two <laughs> factions fighting for control. Trump's behind one and all the other Satanists are behind the other ones. Because you get a choice, don't you? Democrat or Republican. Or Republican or Democrat. Same thing. Well, here's a good one for you. Another. Robert and Blaine Trump. Trump Management Incorporated. Brooklyn, New York. There you go. There's all their emails, addresses, telephone numbers, everything. Chris Tucker. Comedian. The actor. Comedian. Chris Tucker. Yeah, he's, he's been in a few films as well, hasn't he? What's he doing in Jeffrey's unredacted black? Well, I was watching a video the other day and they reckon that all top stars are also high ranking Freemasons. Oh. Uh, well, you remember talking about Trini and Susanna, mm -hmm. those that used to do modelling stuff? Trini Woodall's in here as well. <laughs> they used to call her Tranny for some reason. Well, I think we can probably figure out why. And um, you remember that woman that looks like a bloke that won the tennis, Serena Williams? Yeah. 
She married actually to David. His name's David Ellis and her name is Serena Williams. For Waltham Yard, London, Kensington, Chelsea, SW6, England. There they are. Serena Williams is in it as well. Now, what what would she be interested in, or what would M Epstein be interested in them for? Or what would they be interested in Epstein for? I think we all know the answer to this that. This includes prostitutes and call girls of all sorts. Prince Michael of Yugoslavia in Jeffrey Epstein's, Epstein's naughty black book. It's like a who's you who. You dirty bugger. It. It's a who's who of what? Of, well, well, we can leave them to figure out that. I'm, I'm sure they'll come up with a correct answer. Prince Michael of Yugoslavia. Um, one more before we go. And then the last video of Epstein's Black Book. We'll get these last three pages in, so we'll probably do that after this so we can stick it on. So you don't want two videos in one go. So, yeah. <coughs> Sotheby's is in it. Sotheby's. Lots of hotels. Thanks. Shutters on the beach. Brazil Entertainment. Oh, here we go. Paris. This is the same black book that's got Trump's entire family in it. Has also got Tony Blair. The massage par the massage parlour that he went to in Paris. <laughs> Can you see that? with all the names of the girls next to it and their, their phone numbers. Look, Debbie, Marie Francois, Rosemary, Alexandra, Carolina, Deborah, Isabel, Stefan, Bastien, Deborah, Francois, Corrie Ty, Karina, Nichols. Oh, Better Than Gypsy, Foot Massage. Huh, that'll be code for something else. And yeah, the Paris Massage is headed by Claudia Hadida. Hadida, that's... Um, Middle Eastern name. Ooh. And that's pretty much it so far. It's not, there's loads in there, but none that we... we we're going to do a third video just to get the rest of this out and then that'll be away with it. Now, did Her Majesty get back to you on the uh, inclusion for this? Yeah, she, she, that, that was on the phone. Oh, excellent. <laughs> Well, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. This is the Cack and Mac Show, exposing the corruption which is going on on planet Earth. Just recall that we win. It's game over for the darkness. Light is coming to end it. Not anymore. <laughs>